afternoon, everybody. I'm Terry Darty, and I'm joined this afternoon by Beth Brainerd, the author of the award-winning children's book, Soup Should Be Seen, Not Heard. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. I'm Welcome delighted to be here. Thank you. It's wonderful. Very exciting. It is very exciting. It is. I have a question for you. Manners, as a parent, to me, manners were very, very important. And I won't ask you to just talk about whether or not manners have deteriorated or they're holding stable or whatever. But do you see, in general, an interest by folks to help teach kids manners? Yes, people are very interested. What they're looking for are some tools to help them do it. Okay. Uh, this is a casual generation of parents. You know, they watch John Stewart, not the not the NBC News at night, and so they like a very casual approach. So they're looking for something where. Oh, hold your finger like this when you drink tea is not what's going to appeal to them. If they can find something casual, they'll work on it. They want their children to be polite. They want their kids to have good manners. Well, and I love the title. And, you know, I part of me wonders, do the 20-something parents realize the double entendre of the title itself? I hope so. <laughs> or maybe they'll get it when they're 40. I yeah, don't when know. Get, yeah, you know, when their parents say, oh, yeah, my grandmother used to tell me, you know, children should be seen and not heard. Yeah. <laughs> now, I can envision, you know, a traditional children's book author would go in and they would talk about the book and the inspiration of their book, and it's really sort of a directed activity, you know, where the author is talking and the kids are listening. How do you organize your presentations? I mean, it seems to be totally ripe for interactive yeah. kind of things. Yeah. Um, the kids are all doing things. and all of the illustrations, the kids are having fun. And funny things happen to them. They cut a cherry tomato and boing, it falls off the table. So it's, it's real life uh, situations. Uh, children like that. Uh, with all the illustrative, all the uh, instructive illustrations, they can practice and try things. So it's not just do it like this, it's oh, you can set the table like this. Here's how you do it, let's try it. Very cool. So in putting together the format of the book, you know, it's very unique. You know, as a mom, and I love the idea that it's spiral bound, that it can sort of flip, and it's very durable. Yep. How do you get kids to open the book? What is it about right. it will make it attractive to them? So I'll let you do that. So children, the idea was that um, all the drawings look like they're done by children. The font is hand printing, very basic kind of second, third grade printing. And when the children look at it, they go, oh. Gee, this looks like me. And then the words uh, make it fun. So here's an example. Um, this is about picking your nose. Pick your nose in private. If your friend has a boogie in her nose, boogie, it's a good idea to tell her quietly. <laughs> so it, kids can relate to that. Absolutely. And um, it's okay for your St. Bernard to scratch himself in public, but not for you. Do it in private, and that goes for wedgies too. <laughs> so kids say, oh, okay, and they buy in. Well, and they remember it, and they laugh about it in their own situation, and then they apply it. Yeah. That's absolutely And wonderful. another part of this is that um, this is a book that parents don't have to read from cover to cover. You share it with your kids, but you can um, refer to it when you need to relate to something that's actually going on in your child's life. So if your child is going to be a guest at a birthday party, go to the, excuse me, the party section and go to how to be a good guest and just go over that. So it's a, it's a reference for life as opposed to a book you have to, you read once and then you put back on the shelf and never refer to again. Wonderful. Well, congratulations on your Mom's Thank Choice you Awards. Much. And Thank I'm you. so glad you were able to join us. Thank you, Karen.